This is Bob Maslin, Blade from the Home Seer Message Board, and uh, we're going to go through uh, BL Broadcast for Home Seer 2 and Home Seer 3. Um, BL Broadcast is a um, client server uh, plugin, uh, BL Broadcast being the uh, server portion, and the uh, there is another client application that you need to download from my website that you can install on multiple machines and um, they'll all connect into the to the plugin and allow you to send messages from the plugin to all the clients that are connected um, so the application the client application if you go to my website and um, go into the download section click on BL broadcast takes you down here's the client application right now 2.0 is the current version um, download that install that on any other any machines you want to install it on um, once you configure the uh, the plugin, uh, let me go to the options page to start debug logging. Very important for debugging. Um, click this, capture the issue if you're having one. Um, turn the debug logging off, and um, send me the BL broadcast dash detailed dot log file from your home seer root folder. Um, create a um, help desk ticket on my website and attach that log uh, zipped um, if you could. Um, so this is setting up the server IP address for the plugin itself. Um, so this will be the, the IP address of your home SEER machine where the plugin is running. Um, and then the port number. I think I have 91 as the default in the plugin. Um, it seems to be the one I use and it, and it works fine. Just make sure that you, uh, you allow that port on your firewall so you don't have any issues there. Um, status page shows you that there is that the server is started um, there's one client connected and that is my from my office machine and as you can see I have the BL broadcast client running right down here if I double click and open it up it um, shows me that uh, this is the client uh, on the options page you put in the server IP and port of the plugin which is what we saw on the option screen here um, and there's a whole bunch of different options here you can you can check um, check for updates on startup so it'll check for updates of the actual client and you could have it actually have it update auto update for you um, you can set play sounds when messages arrive um, you can you know basically you can you can go through the options here you can have it start up in the system tray which I always do you can have it show the splash screen I have that turned off um, you can make it always on top. You can make it auto connect. So when you start the program up, it auto connects into the plugin. Uh, you can have it start with Windows, um, and I have it use the um, the Windows username currently. Uh, the log it shows you all the messages that are coming in from the plugin. So let's let's minimize that for now. Uh, let's go into the clients. This just shows you the clients that are connected and the version of the client that I'm using is 2.0 um, message allows you to send a message so we'll send a, an error message to um, this is um, so send out a, this is an error message we'll send that to all the clients so you saw that pop up here because the plugin sent it to the client so it takes a um, few seconds for that error message and it'll slowly disappear. Um, it's handy. Um, this plugin is handy for for sending out messages to all clients. Um, uh, for example, uh, BL Net Caller ID has the capability to send all caller ID information out to all BL Broadcast clients. Um, I've, I've incorporated BL Broadcast into most plugins where it makes sense. Um, Netcaller ID, um, BL Reminders is another one. Um, uh, it will uh, allows you to allows you to just receive messages from other plugins um, if if it's enabled. Um, pretty straightforward, um, not too hard. I haven't really had any issues from people uh, with setup to this. But I thought I would do the video anyway and go over it. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. 
and um, thanks for watching.